Now we're moving into the posterior leg, and first muscle we're going to look at is the gastrocnemius. To review its origin and insertion, it comes off the medial and lateral posterior condyles of the femur, and it's going to run all the way down the leg here into the Achilles tendon attaching to the calcaneus right down here. And point your toes for me. So we can get a really nice outline of this muscle here. So right here, this is going to all be the medial head of the gastroc, and then here's going to be the lateral. You can really, relax for me, you can really lift this muscle up and pull it away. It's very superficial and it has a lot of muscles lying deep to it, namely the soleus, which is also involved in plantar flexion at the ankle. So point your toes again, which is one of the main actions for the gastrocnemius. Because it also crosses the knee joint, it does do a little bit of knee flexion. The muscle test for this, relax your foot for me, is if I come up, now this is a big strong muscle group, trying to just do it like this is not going to be a very powerful position. He can overpower me all, all day like that. What I'm going to want to do is hook my elbow into my hip, support across his ankle, and then just slowly lean my body weight in and then he's going to slowly rebound back. This is a good position for me to be in and I can palpate this muscle and see all the contractile fibers just like that and then slowly come off. Um, tendinosis or ten tendinopathies are going to affect the tendon down in this region here, so it's always a good idea to palpate here, check bilaterally, and just see if there's any thickening, inflammation, or irritation going on. But again, you're going to want to do a full workup of the ankle, the tendon, as well as all of the muscle to see if, uh, to, you know, to find out where the problem is. We're going to take you guys through a better check of the functional kinetic chain for the gastroc and soleus in a standing position here. So what we'll do is have the patient rise up on his toes, and then we can see a good contraction bilaterally of the gastroc as well as the soleus coming down here. This will be a little bit easier than doing a manual muscle test on a table and you can come back down for me. And now if that checks out and you want to isolate one side versus the other, we can just have him lift a foot off the ground, whatever one he wants, and then rise up on the toes of his right side. And again, notice the contraction. It's good here he's doing a little bit of stabilization on the wall. If someone has poor balance or pathology, they may need to stabilize themselves, come back down and now we'll do just this side. And again, from here it's good, I can visualize as well as palpate. Now I have good contraction of these muscles. I can't generate this amount of force with a muscle test, but he certainly can standing on two feet or one foot. The final test you can do is if the, uh, the bilateral and unilateral toe raise checks out, what we can do is come right up and go into a jumping position. From here you can just hop a few times on your toes, just like you're skipping. So again, this is going to put a lot more force through that posterior compartment of the leg and do one final check on the gastroc and soleus as well as the uh, Achilles tendon. And if we want to check one, uh, one step further, we can go into one-footed hops or one-footed skips where he jumps off the ground and lands.